There's nothing necessarily specifically wrong with one meat brawl, but to be perfectly honest, I just didn't love this cartoon. And that's unusual because I'm a big fan of Porky Pig. This is a 1947 Warner Brothers cartoon directed by Robert McKimson, written by Warren Foster and George Hill, with voices provided by Mel Blanc and Stan Freeberg. And this is about a groundhog, and Porky Pig and his dog are trying to capture this groundhog. But the groundhog is obviously going to do everything he can to try and evade capture. Will Porky get the groundhog? And it follows a pretty traditional narrative structure that we can expect from Warner Brothers cartoons of this time, with Porky and the dog trying different things to capture the groundhog, the groundhog trying different things to both escape being captured and also get, get his own back on them. And it's fine. It's absolutely fine. There was nothing that made me think it, w it was badly developed or badly animated. I didn't love the character of the groundhog and I think that's maybe one of the reasons why I didn't really care for it too much. I just, I didn't find him to be an interesting character or that fascinating. He's well animated. I like the design of him. Visually, it looks good. The whole cartoon is well animated. But I just felt like the narrative was a little bit predictable, a little bit repetitive, and that coupled with a character of... The dog as well. I wasn't a big fan of the dog. I have no ill feelings towards Porky Pig, but the dog and the groundhog I just didn't really care for. And then that, with a narrative that I didn't think was that exciting, just meant it just didn't appeal to me. So One Meat Brawl is... On paper, not a bad cartoon, but when I actually watched it, I have to say there wasn't really anything in this that appealed to me. I, I didn't even love Porky Pig in it. I didn't mind him, but it's definitely uh, not my favourite Porky Pig cartoon. If you're a fan of Porky Pig and you haven't seen it, then I'd say One Meat Brawl is wor worth watching maybe once, but I doubt I'll ever watch it again.